Uh, this kid's a great character kid. I think you're going to get to, uh, another young man who we're really proud of off the field. Uh, captain at uh, Clemson, a player that's obviously been extremely productive, a guy that's going to line up and play our left end position. Uh, we feel like he's got a lot of production in him. Uh, obviously, we've done a lot of research. I think every club in the National League put a lot of time into this selection and this type of pick. Uh, for me, uh, the value uh, for this pick was too strong. And I feel like we're at a spot on the defensive line and really as an organization where we're building this thing, I feel like it was worth uh, this selection. I'm looking forward to you all meeting with Juan. I think you'll see that here's a young man that's going to work his tail off to be the best he can be. No matter if he was drafted number one overall or 51 overall, he was going to provide the same emotional effort into becoming uh, the greatest football player he can be. So I'll certainly open it up for questions about Dequan Bowers and our selection. Mark, Mark is he going to need major surgery in the next uh, – in the immediate future or in the next few years? No, uh, we don't see that. What we will do, obviously, again, we're going to do everything we can to get him on the field when it's appropriate to get him on the football field. Uh, obviously, uh, our intentions are to provide the package for him in terms of medically to give him a chance to get back on the football field. But I'm not going to rush putting him back on the football field either. We want to get him as healthy as we can, and then we want him to play here for as long as he can. That's our mindset. What do the doctors tell you in terms of, of when you – you can expect him to be on the football field with this situation right now? Well, right now, the idea behind it is ideally rehabbing and continuing to rehab like he's been doing. I mean, that's, that's what he's done since he had his surgery and he had his pro day. He's been rehabbing since then. It's going to continue the rehab process until we're comfortable putting him on the football field. When that day comes, we will absolutely put him on the Do you field. think it'll be in his, in this year? Or? As long as we're having football this year. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I mean, that's the mindset. Now, I won't put a time date for date or a template on when that date's going to be. Right. Uh, we're going to do what's in his best interest. But at the same point, we feel like he's going to be on the football field this year. Absolutely. You, can you talk about that, uh, the call last night that he could be available at, at pick 51? Do you think that was realistic? I think you have to prepare for it. I mean, I certainly did go into bed last night trying to talk about what would we do at 51 if Daquan Bowers is there. I know what I answered to myself that last night before we actually started the draft this morning, and I stayed true to that answer today. What about before the whole draft started? You thought it was – there was a chance he could be there at 51? I think that we had our information. That, yeah, we had to have the thought that there's a possibility that he could be there. I knew what we were going to do at 20 all along uh, on Daquan, but I certainly also had an opinion last night of what we would do at 51 with a clear head, and that's, and that's what we did today. So can you talk a little bit about the process of getting comfortable with this pick, uh, obviously from a medical standpoint? Well, again, we go back. We, we sit down with our doctors, our orthopedic doctors, sit down with our trainer. We talk about what the, what the process would be. Where is it at? What's the rehab schedule? How, how long would it take to get this man a healthy 100% so he can get back on the field and be the best player that he could possibly be? Uh, we took that all into account. And certainly that's one of the benefits of having a Thursday night and a Friday night draft nowadays is that you get a little more time to do the reconnaissance and do a little more research into your selections. And again, last night before I left the facility, which was late, uh, my mind and I said uh, to a few people in the organization, if Daquan's there at 51, we're going to take him, and I stuck to that today. Mark, you guys.